What is going on everybody? Aaron from Help Cloud here and over the last couple of weeks I've had a few people reach out to me in the comments asking if they delete a photo from their iPhone or their iPad will it also delete off of their iCloud account? So today we're going to answer that question as well as take a look at a few different settings that you guys can use to manage your photos or your videos within your iCloud account. So stick around. We're just gonna jump right into this. I have the iPhone 6S here. This one is specifically on iOS 13. If you're on something other than that, the instructions should be pretty much the same, but vary just a little bit. So what we're gonna do, so we're gonna go down to settings and you're gonna scroll all the way through this list until you see photos or older photos and camera. Either one, tap on it. And right here, you're gonna see the iCloud Photos toggle switch. This lets us know if the sync is enabled or disabled. If you do have this enabled on all of your devices that are signed in with the same Apple ID account, if you add or delete photos or whatever you do on those devices is going to be reflected on everything else. So keep that in mind. So if you delete a photo, it's gonna delete it. If you add a photo, it's gonna be, it's gonna add it as well. If you are the type that wants to keep the photos on the cloud, but not on the phone, just remember you're gonna to wanna to toggle this switch off, but you're also gonna to have to remember to upload your photos manually. Now, just a quick pro tip, by default, the iPhone will only do the syncing process when you're connected to a Wi-Fi network. So if you wanted to change that, you can go into your settings on your iPhone, go into iCloud and then toggle the little switch right here that says cellular and this will allow you to do your sync process whether you're on a Wi-Fi network or a cellular network. The other setting that I would like to look at while we're in here is if we turn that switch back on, you're gonna see an option that says optimize iPhone storage. This is on by default, but what this does is it takes your photos and your videos and creates a optimized or low res version of them, keeps them on the phone, but then uploads a full quality in the original format to the iCloud. So if it's like a raw file, JPEG, a movie file, it uploads the full quality to the cloud and just saves space on your phone. Now, if you're the type that likes to have all of the full quality, everything on it, just go ahead and download and keep the originals, select that option, and it's gonna download and keep all of the originals quality on the phone itself. But of course, you're gonna be using a lot more space in that case. Now, I know what some of you might be thinking, but Aaron, I wanna order prints from my iPhone. Am I gonna give the printing company a crappy version of the photo? Now, that is a good question. And after doing some research, it does appear that once you have selected a file to be ordered, iPhone or iOS will automatically retrieve the full quality version before it uploads it to ensure that you guys are in fact uploading the original quality and you're not sending a dumbed down version of the photo. Now that we've covered some of the basics, let's go ahead and dive into iCloud or Photos and show you how some of this stuff works. All of this working, I've got the Mac signed into Photos and also iCloud on the browser and then I've got the iPhone here. So what we're gonna do is I've got the camera up, we're gonna take a few different test photos, watch them sync over, but then we're also gonna show you how to manage things either on iCloud but also can work the same way on Photos. So let's just take a couple photos real quick. So if we go back into the photos on the iPhone, you can see we've got two different photos right here. And depending on your speed of your network, it's gonna take some time to transfer over. As you can see, we've got a little photo here. We've got a little cloud icon right there indicating that it is pulling and uploading from the cloud. And you can see that both the photos and also iCloud and the iPhone are all simultaneous. They all have the exact same files on them. So the question is, of course, if I delete a photo off of my iPhone, is it going to delete on iCloud? So let's go ahead and maximize the iCloud real quick. Bring that open like that. And we've got the iPhone. So if we click on this icon or this photo right here, scroll on down, tap on delete, delete one more time you can see that it does in fact delete it off of iCloud. So if you have everything synced and you delete from your iPhone, it will delete it off of the iCloud. Now, you do have 30 days to recover something that was accidentally, accidentally deleted. So if you go in to either on your phone or on the iCloud or on photos, it all works very similar. What you can do is you can go into recently deleted and you can see that that photo is in here. If we click on it, you have the option to delete it permanently or you can click on recover. If we click on recover, go back to photos, you can see that it went back to the photos and it also synced across over to the iPhone. So some other things that you can do to manage the files on iCloud is if you click on one, you can select it, click on others, it will select that one. If you hold command, you can select one, select another. And if I had a third option here, if you hold shift, click on one and hold shift and click on maybe like there was one over here, it's gonna select everything in between. So those are just a few shortcuts that you can use to select the different photos. Also, you can go up here and if you want to, you can upload photos, you can add to an album, 
you can share, you can download to the computer, and then of course you can delete. So there's a few different options that you can do right there. So if we wanted to add both of these into an album, we could click on a plus. Let's go ahead and to add two items to new album, and we'll just say demo iCloud, click OK. And over here on the left, you can see that they have now been put in their own album. Now, if we check on the phone, and if we go to albums on the phone, you can actually see that the demo iCloud album was also created, and those photos were synced over. So all of this can happen simultaneously as long as all of your devices are signed into the same account with the sync turned on. That is how everything works and that's how you can go through and manage. If I wanted to delete these, I can just select them and then delete them. These items will be removed from this album, but will remain in your photo library. So if you wanted to delete an album, you can do that without deleting the photos. We'll tap on remove. And if we go back up to photos, those still remain and we can delete those from here as well. These items will be deleted from iCloud Photos on all of your devices. So here's the warning right now. If you delete from iCloud as well, same scenario. If everything's synced, it's going to delete them from all your devices. We'll click on delete. And you can see that on the phone, they're no longer there as well. And that is all there is to it. That is going to wrap up today's video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you guys like this video and that you got something out of it. If you did, be sure to give the video a big old thumbs up and to share, especially if you know somebody that has been trying to do this stuff all along. Subscribe and ring the bell if you haven't already. We wouldn't want you guys to miss out on any type of future uploads, and we will see you on the next one. Peace.